The UFC Octagon has long been home to some of the greatest athletes on the planet. And for UFC featherweight champ Alexander Volkanovsky, this statement couldn't be more true. Long before his rise to dominance as a combat athlete, Volkanovsky excelled in the Australian Rugby League, leading teams to grand final matches and earning individual honors in the process. Rugby League made me who I am today. So they, this, uh, you know, little powerhouse you see, this cardio sort of machine guy, even in the, on the footy field, I was the type of person that I would just run all day. Give me the ball and I would run. And uh, I used to be 214 pounds. Now I fight these featherweights. I look at them and they're tiny. They really are. I mean, a lot of the drive, a lot of the power, a lot of the contact is the same. You know, it really has helped uh, with, with my game, and, you know, you're seeing that in my fights as well. These days, Volkanovski can be found perfecting his MMA skill set alongside the first man to discover his potential. Local promoter Joe Lopez. You got to be ready for any situation. Alex just came here to get fit, and uh, we had an open day sparring here, and I left it open to anybody in the gym to come along. We had a few other gyms. All right, go get your gear, guys. As I'm gloving my guy up, the other trainer threw Alex into the cage with with his heavyweight, and I ran down to try and stop it, but that already started. And within a minute, Alex had submitted this guy. Come back with a hook and then a cross, yeah. Go one hook cross. And after the spar, I said to him, man, uh, you ever thought about having a fight? And he said, oh, man, it's always been a dream of mine to have a fight. And the rest is history. There is currently a lot of noise surrounding Alexander the Great Volkanovsky. Volkanovsky's claim to fame in the UFC. He brings that power. Brutal ground and pound. Was power and pace. Oh! As Volkanovski continued his rise to the top, he would find himself seeking out new ways to expand his skill set, a decision that led him to New Zealand's budding super camp, City Kickboxing. Home to UFC middleweight champion Israel Adesanya and gym leader Eugene Behrman. Let's go, guys, let's go! Three, two, one. My first encounter with Alex was actually with one of my guys fighting him. Shane Young fighting out of City Kickboxing makes his UFC debut today. He's facing Alexander Volkanovsky. He's a very powerful puncher. Volkanovsky's chains things together very nicely. Nice takedown there. Oh, nice right hand. Just too powerful is Volkanovsky. Volkanovsky is really dictating this fight. That fight didn't go too well for us. It went really well for Alex. <laughs> From then, we've formed a good relationship. He's like the, uh, the honorable Kiwi. We stole him back from the Aussies. And having him around makes me have to step my game up. Training with full-time fighters really helps. Back home, I can't really get that on a, you know, daily basis. A lot of times when you break somebody's luck, they're very vulnerable and city kickboxing with that very high level, full-time fighters. When I go, as I step in, my head up to the other side, my shoulder here. So it's just unreal thing that we've got going here and, and I just can't wait to keep showing the world my improvements. With city kickboxing, Volkanovski would soar to new heights. Oh, Volkanovski just at his relentless best tonight. We might get a stoppage here soon. Oh, big right hand, and Delkins is down. Delkins continuing to take damage. Israel Adesanya raises a glass to that. Now it's my shot. Now I want someone in the top five. Chad Mendes is a main main event. Let's do it. A 15-fight win streak to earn Volkanovski a shot at Chad Mendes, a three-time title challenger with an affinity for knockout finishes. Well, this is how you find out where you stand. You take that chance, and you see what happens. Oh, oh, but he got clipped with the left hand oh. now. Oh, Volkanovski tees off on nice. him. Nice. Beautiful combination. Volkanovski coming on strong. Mendez is in big trouble. Big elbow. Oh, he's oh. hurt. He's hurt. Mendez goes down. That's it. Alexander the Great has arrived. Wow. 
after his dominant performance against Chad Mendes, Volkanovski found himself in a marquee matchup versus a Brazilian legend. The king of Rio de Janeiro, number one ranked featherweight contender and former two-time UFC champion, Jose Aldo. Seven successful title defenses during his first UFC reign. I always thought going into UFC, I was going to be up there. He was not going to be intimidated by the atmosphere nor the opponent. You know what I mean? Not just a number, not just another body in the UFC. You're one of the champions. Volkanovski getting to the pressure now. Now I know I'm at that level. Volkanovski is fighting a fantastic fight. I'm the man of this division, and I'm taking that belt. The great Volkanovski! After his impressive display against Aldo, the gritty Australian had set himself up for a shot at featherweight gold. Well, the Blessed Express coming down the tracks, showing no signs of slowing down. Max Holloway has been dominating this division for years. Most men have caved under his pace and his pressure. But one guy who says he will not suffer that fate is the title challenger, Alexander Volkanovsky. People think he could be the guy to beat the greatest featherweight of all time. Let's go, buddy, ready. Buddy, ready. So it ready. all comes down to this. Look at the size of the tree trunk legs on Volkanovski. He's so big. Nice low kick by Volkanovski. Pretty good one, too, from Volkanovski. Volkanovski's got real power, folks. Holloway's trying to touch him. Volkanovski's trying to smash him early. I mean, he's throwing full power. 46 to the legs. That is a new UFC featherweight record. This kid's got a championship-level mindset because he is keeping up and matching the pace of Max Holloway, something we have not seen people oh. do very often. One of the greatest featherweight runs of all time in danger of coming to an end. Bless their hands. My time. Oh! I got the good fight IQ, and I got the job done. Alexander Volkanovski, the new undisputed featherweight champion of the world. Australia, look at this. I'm bringing it back home, baby. Alexander Volkanovski fought a fantastic fight. That's just another level for Holloway to worry about now. And he will go home with a new piece of UFC gold. The Volkanovski era is officially underway.